Alone Together, in my opinion, one of the all-time most important episodes of this show. Of course, as per usual, there will be spoilers in this review for not just this episode, but also future episodes as well. This episode is all about fusion. Particularly, it's all about Steven and fusion. It actually opens up with Steven working with the Crystal Gem to try to learn the dance techniques that are commonly associated with fusion. We see him trying a little bit to pick up on each of the individual Crystal Gem's dance styles, but because his body actually has, you know, real bones and muscles, he can't quite keep up with them. Even though Pearl is questioning the logistics of whether or not Steven actually can fuse, Garnet insists that she thinks he's able to fuse. And we actually know for a fact that he can, simply because she said that, because in just a couple episodes we find out that she has future vision, which, even though we also learn in the same episode that she doesn't see what is actually going to happen for sure in the future, we do find out that she only sees possible futures, so if she has looked into Steven's future at all and seen that he can fuse, specifically fuse with gems, in any of those possible futures, then that means it is possible. Why she wouldn't tell Pearl that is an entirely different question, and I have no idea what the answer to it might be. Uh, that said, Steven goes to hang out on the beach at night with, with Connie, and they're talking about the dancing part of the fusion training, for lack of a better term. And Connie brings up that she loves to dance, but that she can't dance in front of people. And this is the first instance where we really find out that uh, Connie actually has social anxiety disorder, which is something I could speak about with genuine experience. Like, seriously, if you guys were actually in the room with me, if, like, ten of you guys were actually in the room with me, I would not be able to do this. But what's important is Steven is the only person there, and he actually gets her to dance, because she kind of comes to the realization that she's she just feels safe around him, which I can also speak to from experience. I have a couple people who I'm like that around as well. And so they start dancing and they kind of fall into each other and they fuse into Stevani, who is another one of those characters who, much like Opal, I really wish was in the show more often. They are easily one of my favorite fusions and I'd just like to see more of them. Stevani is one of those characters who you just immediately feel like you like even after only seeing them on the screen for a short period of time. So, all psyched out, they run back up to Steven's house to show the crystal gems, and Pearl can't believe it, and Amethyst is psyched, but no one is more psyched than Garnet. Seriously, just watch this clip. Just watch it. <laughs> Pearl, look at Garnet. Yeah, so, obviously we know now why that's such a big deal, and I'm sure there are quite a few of us who, at the time that this episode came out, knew why... Garnet was so excited about this here. But the point is, she gives Stevani great advice. She says, you are an experience, go make sure you're a good one. So they run out, they jump in the water in the ocean, swim in the ocean for a while, and then they go off to the Big Donut and make Lars and Sadie question their sexuality for a while. And then they're, ju they're just all around adorable. But having bought some donuts and gone to sit down and realizing that they're not physically there with each other, that they're not together, even though they're literally together, Steven and Connie start to, I don't know what the term is, resurface maybe, and they almost defuse, but they decide to stay together, and then Sour Cream comes basically out of nowhere and invites them to a rave, which they think, oh, hey, dance, dance party, let's go to this dance, and you may think that's a little contradictory, considering that I was just talking about the fact that Connie has a very obvious social anxiety problem, but you gotta realize that this makes total sense for the character, because Steven is very outgoing, and he doesn't care what other people think of him, and Connie right now isn't herself. She's wearing a different face. So she can be anyone she wants to be and do anything she wants to do without feeling like it weighs on her personally. So they go to this rave and they start getting hit on by this kind of sleazy guy. But the point is they get all kinds of attention at this rave and it starts to trigger Connie's social anxiety, which causes them to defuse. But once again, now that they're actually there together in the more traditional sense, Connie realizes she doesn't care because she feels safe with Steven. And they start dancing anyway, and that's where the episode cuts. And I love this episode so much. I don't even I don't even think I need to explain why I love this episode. It just it deals with so many things so well. You have young blossoming love in Steven and Connie's interactions. You have the rapid change in your body during puberty, explored metaphorically through them suddenly becoming Stevani, and you have this super accurate animated representation of what social anxiety disorder feels like. When the, like, disco ball-esque thing comes up around Stevani at the rave, 
when it comes up around them and fe they feel boxed in, they feel like everyone else is just watching them relentlessly, that's exactly what it feels like. And this episode explores all of those things so comprehensively, yet so simply. It's just a masterpiece. That said, if you are a fan of the show and you haven't seen this episode, first of all, what's wrong with you? Second of all, go see it right now. It's online on like a thousand different websites. Seriously, go find it. And guys, if you have seen this episode, what did you think about it? Let's get a discussion going in the comments section down below. Either way, this has been AJ22, and I will talk to you guys later.